everybody, this is not a scream chick. I know I look like I'm a little bit overly dressed. Well, oh wait a minute, I just realized I kind of match the Christmas tree, don't I? Okay, so it happens to be January, and we'd love to have the trees up just about as long as we can. But, you know, we're starting off for a new year, and oh, wait a minute. Yes, new year, new taxes, and you got it. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't quite seen your paycheck yet? Well, you're going to get it really soon and find out just how much extra you're paying. Well, for now, oh, oh yeah, it's just not 2%. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I know. We thought you'd like to see the rest of the Christmas trees before. It's the last day. It's the last day. Yeah, everything. I mean, really nice backdrops, but everything has to come down eventually. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it's actually all over for Representative for uh, Speaker of the House Boehner because uh, the uh, the insurrection continued until today, and now the uh, as I. As they're telling people, they have enough votes from people in the Democratic Party that are demanding that the budget be trimmed, that Boehner's votes to support the president of spending money have been nullified. So now... It's, it's, wait, wait, wait. Say that again? They said the Republicans have joined together with people in the Democratic Party against Nancy Pelosi's wishes that want to trim the budget. Mm -hmm. They know there's a tremendous amount of fat in it, and they want their... Okay, they ran on, we've got to cut the budget. And uh, and so they just voted to raise... Oh, God, if you if you got a paycheck today, you, you walked into a disaster. You are now making... You're bringing home less money today than if you'd have went over to fiscal cliff. I know. And it's going to get less with every passing week. You're going to bring home less money because there's 150 pages of new taxes you're going to have to pay. What? That's just the start. Uh, and oh, actually, let's get that list. We want that one published. There are 9,000 new taxes going on people in this country as of uh, yesterday. And after the cliff drama, Republicans take it easy. Well, yeah. They Basically, the, the drama was is that uh, as one of the Republican congressmen did say very predominantly, he said, he said, Speaker Bainard and the people that supported him can hide, but they can't keep whatever they got from the president hid forever. And when we find out, they're all going to go to jail, folks. And direct impact fiscal cliff a deal gets a C in my book. Well, because it, it, it did nothing. It added, here's a good one, it added $4 trillion to the national debt. Four trillion, folks. This is not George Bush that did this. This is Barack Obama. He has now added officially eleven trillion dollars to the national debt since he became president. Every president in the United history of the United States times two didn't add as much money as he has in four years. How? Well, they said that. Uh, okay, uh, this morning it was said that when. Um, in 2025, when Barack, when Barack Obama is preparing to start his next term as president, that the national debt will have risen to $52 trillion. $52 yeah. trillion. And the operative word is, in the year 2025, when Obama... And, and there's a reason why they're saying that, because within the next three weeks, Harry Reid is going to make the decision whether we become a parliamentary government or stay in... Uh, a democratic republic, and they think that because they want to run the country as a one-party rule, they're going to go to parliamentary rule, which means they decide that while the public may elect a president, they decide in a parliament who the president is, who the country is going to be. So we'll run. What will happen? There's is, no reason to have an election. No, they do in England have elections. Yeah. But what happens is uh, uh, they're more uh, of a figurehead. Uh, we, we, no. What will happen is. Obama will run for the head of the Democratic Party, and then they'll name him president of the country. Mm -hmm. So, but that will be, he will only be, in a parliamentary situation, he will only be the head of the country until the Democrats decide to throw him out. Mm -hmm. And Syria opposition leader rejects a Moscow invitation. Well, yeah, because what it did, it kept, it kept the Syrian government exactly as it was. It basically returned to... They're not winning the war, folks. They're getting their butts kicked. There have been 60,000 civilians killed in the last year that they could keep oh track of. Oh, my God. They are losing horribly the battle. And, uh, and they're well, they've made great inroads. Well, they just lost Damascus again. And he who controls Damascus controls the interests of the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Analysis, UN confronts failure of diplomacy in Syria. There is no, you can't have diplomacy when, um, the, it's a matter of hardline, uh, hardline Muslims versus 
uh, moderate Muslims, and the moderate Muslims are going to fight to the death. The problem with Obama is he supports the hardline Muslims, uh, and the rest of the world doesn't. The rest of the world has seen what happened, what he let happen. Well, they're not going to go hardline in Egypt. They did it. They're mm -hmm. not going to do it in, in Libya. They did it. They're not going to. Everywhere that he has said, the Arab Spring was great. They're taking over the hardline Muslims. They're taking over. Al Qaeda is running wild all over the Middle East now. Alleged militants detained in was it Djibouti, charged by U.S. court. Yeah, uh, Obama wants to bring uh, these people over to the United States for trial so that they can have due process. And, and I know the they they have uh, they. Pointed, I mean, I heard him say, pointed out again this morning. We don't know where this man thinks he's what he's going to do it. We absolutely have a federal law that prohibits their coming to this country, and there is no money. And we no, don't no, need our taxpayers' money being spent on these people. Said that no taxpayer money will be spent for bringing him here. So he has, you know, where's he going to find the money? You know, if, if you okay, uh, uh, the people that need to bring them here are being paid by the taxpayers, and they've been forbid, forbidden by Congress from doing it. That's Democrats and Republicans are forbidden it. Mm. Egypt opposition says Islamists are trying to stifle dissent. That's what Islamists always do. I mean, Egypt is going to. T Egypt was the jewel of the Middle East until Obama got involved in it. Mm. Now it's going to be. It's going to become a backwater country which they haven't been in a god-awful long time. Rachel Maddow's surge is Fox News' worst ratings nightmare. She has no surge. She's still at the bottom of the list. What happened was they said Sean Hannity's ratings have fell back to, back the way they were before the election, which means he's still the number two show on, te on cable television. So uh, here's it is. If you started out at the bottom and you're still at the bottom and the person at number two is still at number two, you haven't made any inroads. And did Obama just make an assassination reference? Oh, yeah. He basically what? Uh, threatening people that don't go along with him. Oh. He just simply said, we know where you live. Oh. That's a threat, folks. And a lot of people did not take it kindly. Oh, Including yeah. the Democrats who basically said that was... Uh, that was extremely irresponsible for him to say, make a comment like that. What was he talking about in reference to? Uh, people that don't support him in the house, we know where you live. Oh, that's bad. Well, you know, part of it is if they start dropping. Yeah, well, no, it just, they, <laughs> the problem is, is just uh, what he did, he, 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 he okay. The, he, the finger's going to point to him if something If he gets happens. off of teleprompters, he is a total a-hole. He does, he's a great reader of teleprompters, but when he gets off, he loses his temper. Ah, and Hillary Clinton is not well. Yeah, well, she's not going to be well. And, okay, this Benghazi thing cost her the presidency because my guess is she knows where all the bodies are buried. That would be my she's guess. She's going to get less well if she testifies. Well, I could imagine it's like her, her stomach is turning. Her stomach is turning, I'm sure. She cannot lie in front of Congress if she does it. They'll, they'll, throw, they'll put her in a room and throw the key away, and her husband won't let her lie, so her husband's not going to let her testify. Wow. She's going to be too sick to testify. She was killed. She lost her pre chance for presidency because uh, she simply didn't come out and tell the truth. She should have sunk Obama. To have, totally should have Wonder sunk Wonder what him. happened there. Uh, you know, she, basically, uh, <laughs> she basically didn't know that Obama was going to... To throw her under the wheels of the bus. All these people are Well, stupid. didn't they? I mean, if they watch what's. I know they all think they have a special relationship and it's not going to happen. I know they think that, well, he wouldn't dare do that. Well, he That's what I mean. He, this man threw his mother, grandmother under the wheels of a bus, folks. Mm -hmm. And with Hillary in the hospital, conservatives backtrack on fake concussion. No, they didn't. They just call it the immaculate concussion, is what they're referring oh, to. Immaculate concussion. Yeah, now, and when she was supposed to come again, as uh, Right. The week before she's supposed to testify again, she's got a brain clot and can't. It's going to be. She may not be able to return to work before she uh, has before, to go on. Yeah. Before. The problem is the Republicans are not going to confirm Kerry until she testifies, which means there's going to be no Secretary of State. Oh, interesting. Yeah. North Korean leader in rare address seeks end to confrontation with the South. Well, yeah, because he, they intend to send them. They intend. They know with Obama. Retreating, they're going to send their military south, and we're going to lose twenty-five thousand soldiers in an hour. What? Yeah, 
he's got to send them south. And we have 25,000 soldiers on the border, and they have a million. Oh, that's yeah. like... And Obama, everywhere Obama is pulling out, we're going to have to go back in and take. Everywhere he's pulling out. Oh, my out gosh. Of. That's the problem. Democrats start wars, Republicans finish them. That's history. Mm -hmm. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, we're actually, we're going, we're going to do it very simple. This is an old Mark Twain thing. That you, you never get the government you want, but you always get the government you deserve. <laughs>